I'm Anil Kumar and here is a thinking question for you from characteristics of polynomial functions in factored form. We actually have here polynomial function in standard form. We'll convert it to factored form. The function f of x equals to x cubed plus kx squared minus x minus 2k plus 2 has a 0 when x equals to 1. Determine the value of k, write function in factored form, graph f of x and determine all the zeros right okay so let's do it so first thing is to find the value of k what are we given we are given that it has a zero when x is equal to one that is what is given to us okay so we have f of one as equal to zero it means i should substitute one for x so if i write one for x i get one cube plus k times 1 square minus 1 to k plus 2. That helps to find the value of k. So we have this as 1 plus k minus 1 plus 2. Let me write here uh, minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 and then we have minus 2k. Okay. Now that gives us uh, the value of k as what uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 k minus 2 k is minus k this is equal to 0 or we can say k equals to 2 so we have found the value of k now let us write the function again with this value of k so what we get here is f of x is equals to x cube plus k is 2 so let me write this as 2x square uh, minus x minus 2 times 2 plus 2 that gives us x cube plus 2x square minus x minus 2 times 2 is 4 minus so we get minus 2 here okay so that is our function okay so we get our function with the value of k as 2 so we get k equals to 2 okay now let us factor this function since we have to graph it it is important to factor first how to factor this function okay we can do group factoring okay so let us write it down again and factor we have f of x equals to x cube plus let me rearrange i can write minus x here and 2x square plus 2x square minus 2 x is common so we get x square minus 1 here 2 is common x square minus 1 now x square minus 1 is common so we get x plus 2 you can factor x square minus 1 as x plus 1 times x minus 1 and we have x plus 2 so that is the factored form now it is easy to factor let us do it so we'll graph here with our zeros and leading coefficient. So steps are step number one. What is the degree? Degree is odd. What is the leading coefficient? Leading coefficient is positive. So positive leading coefficient means right side up. Right? Odd means opposite ends do you see that so i'm not writing i'm just explaining you and then we'll talk about zeros zeros are at minus one okay so let us say this is minus one minus one second plus one okay plus one minus two there we go minus two these are all linear zeros means if you start from here cross it like a line okay one more thing which you have to find is y-intercept. We'll leave it for now, but you have to do it. Connect the points. Connect the points. Do you see that? That's our graph. Now, what is y-intercept? So, we should find y-intercept is f of 0. So, write 0 for x. When you write 0 for x, you get this constant, which is minus 2. So, write this as minus 2. Okay. It may not be the minimum, it's just 
connected right we are not saying it is minimum it may look like for some but that is not right so this is the graph of the function to sketch the graph we know now is better to factor the equation and then rather you have to factor the equation to sketch the graph otherwise you need so many points the table of values will also give you a graph but this is probably the best way of doing it right for more accuracy what you should do is you should also find this point which is f of minus 1.5 once you get this point then it is slightly more accurate right but otherwise it works that is my recommendation with that we have done chapter 3.3 which is to understand how to sketch a polynomial function when it is given in factored form if it is not given in factored form you have to factor and then sketch right let's move on to the next chapter which is transformation thank you and all the best